In this video, you will learn how to interpret Roman numerals. Now first off, where are Roman numerals used? Well, Roman numerals you see a lot of different places. Uh, one main one is in football. For the Super Bowl, they use Roman numerals to represent the number of the year of the Super Bowl. So like the 50th year for the Super Bowl, they'll use Roman numerals to show the 50th year. And then I've also noticed it in movies, like at the bottom of like a, a disc or someplace, you'll see many times the year in Roman numerals. And there's other places as well. You'll see it sometimes with clocks and just other random locations. So that is where we see Roman numerals. And it's kind of like a, a, a code, uh, a way to interpret from Roman numerals to standard form. So starting with the number one, we have the symbol here. So just a straight up line is the symbol for one. For five, you have the letter V for five. You have the letter X for 10. The letter L means 50. The letter C is 100, and the letter D is 500, and then the letter M is 1000. All right, so notice these are all capital letters. So this is the, the key, all right? So make sure you know and have these memorized. Now from here, you can put these different symbols together to create other numbers other than just these that are listed. So the rules with Roman numerals are one, you cannot use a symbol more than three times in a row. Okay, then rule number two is if a greater symbol is followed by a lesser symbol, you add the values. And if a lesser symbol is followed by a greater symbol, then you subtract the values. So let's start with number one and see what we have. So one, we said, was the letter I. So it's a capital letter I, just a straight line up and down. So then two would be two eyes, three would be three eyes. Now from here, remember rule number one is we cannot use a symbol more than three times in a row. So I cannot have four eyes for four because that breaks rule number one. So for four, what I would do is I put the letter I and then V. So this would be rule number three. Okay, the lesser symbol, so the I is for one, the V is for five, the lesser symbol is before the greater symbol. So that means I subtract the values. So I subtract one from five, so five minus one is four. So that is my symbol for four. We have I, then a V. Then five we said was just the letter V. And then the number six, we would put the letter V with an I. So V followed by an I would be six because that follows rule number two. A greater symbol, so the V is five, is followed by a lesser symbol, the one, so we add the values. So five plus one is six. All right, and then for seven, we can add another I at the end to get a V and then I, I. So it'd be five plus one plus one, which would be seven. For eight, we can add a third I, so V, I, I, I. But then for nine, we cannot put four I's, right, because that would break rule number one. So for nine, we could use the letter X for 10, and then subtract one with the letter I. So we put the I in front of the X for subtraction, because I is one, X is 10, one is less than 10, and it's in the front, so I subtract 10 minus one to get nine. And then 10 was just the letter X. And then from here, for 11 through 19, uh, we have to add 10 to one, and then 10 to two, 10 to three, to get 11, 12, 13, etc. So I just put an X in front of each of these numbers to now have 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. So XI, would be 10 plus one, which is 11. XII would be 12. XII is 13. XIV is 14. And then XV is 15. 16 is XVI. 
17 is x b i i 18 is x b i i i 19 is x i x and then 20 would be 210 so x and x so notice what i did i took each of these these roman numerals in this column and just put an x in the front and that gave me now 10 more than that first column right there so just put an x in the front now we have 11 through 20. And then same concept for 21 through 30. So for 21 through 29, we put uh, two x's in the front. So instead of just one x, we put two x's. So now we have two x's in the front, and then i, and then two x's, and then two i's, and etc. So we do all of that to take us to 29. So we put two x's in the front for 20 and then everything else after. And then once we get to 30, 30 would be three tens, so we have three x's for 30. And then we repeat again for 31 through 39. So now we put three x's in the front, and then uh, this column right here, this first column, so, uh, after the three x's. So we'd have three x's, then i for 31, and then put the three x's in front all the way through 39, so that takes us to here, and then 40. 40 would be four x's, but we cannot use a symbol more than three times in a row. So what I do is I look now at L, because L is 50. So if I put an x in front of the L, that's gonna be 10 subtracted from 50. So x in front of the L on the left side would be 40. All right, so if the x is on the other side, it would be 60 because we'd have to add if it was on the other side because x is smaller than l x is 10 l is 50 so rule number two or sorry rule number three we subtract all right so now for 41 through 49 we just take this symbol we take the x and the l and put it in front of one two three four five etc so that's what we see right here in this column so notice for each of these we just put an x and an l in the front and then the one, two, three, four, etc. All right, and then 50, we know was L, so L is 50. All right, so that takes us through 50, and then from here, we can do 51 through 59. So for 51 through 59, we just put the L in the front, and then the one, two, three, four, five, etc. So that's what we have right here. 51 through 59, just put the L in the front for 50, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And then for 60, 60 would be a combination of 50 and 10. So we take L for 50, X for 10, put those together to get 60. So if the L is in the front and X comes after, we have to add because based off rule number two, the greater symbol is followed by a lesser symbol then we add the values. 50 is greater than 10, so 50 is followed by a lesser value, so we have to add 50 and 10 to get 60. So then 61 through 69, we take this right here, and then put the one through nine in front. So that's what we see right here in this column. So we take 60, and then put one, 60, then two, 63, 64, etc. Then for 70 would be a combination of 50 and two tens. So we do L and then followed by two X's. So that would be 70. And then 71 through 79 would give me all of this where we put 70 in the front and then one after. So 71, here we have 72, 73, etc. So then for 80 would be a combination of 50 and three tens. So we have 50, so L and three tens would be three x's. And then 81 through 89, again, we just take the number 80, so L and then three x's, and then follow that with one, two, three, four, etc. So then for 90, we cannot do four x's, we cannot do 50 and four tens because we cannot use a symbol more than three times. So what I do is I want to use my rule number three where I want to put uh, C for 100, first, or sorry, not first, but um, that'll become second, and in front of the C on the left side will be 10, the X, because
guess 100 minus 10 is 90. Right, so if I put x in front of the c, this means we take 10 and subtract that from 100. Because 10 is smaller than 100, 10 is in the front, so rule number three, we subtract 10 from 100. So x and c is 90. So then 91 through 99 would be taking 90, so x and c, and then follow that with 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And then 100, we have c for 100. All right, so that takes us from 1 through 100. And then for 100 through 199, it's going to be basically just the C in the front for 100 and then whatever we just covered for the other part. So like 199 for example would be 100, so C, and then 99 was X, C, I, X. Alright, so that's 199. So we just put the 100 in the front and then whatever other part comes after, put that after. So we see that all typed up right here. So we have 101, 102, 103, 104, all the way through 199, as we just said, where we put the 100 in the front and then the other part at the end. Now for 200, we need two 100, so two Cs for 200. So we have two Cs for 200, and then 201 through 299, again, will be the same idea, where we put the two Cs in the front and then whatever number after, so like one through 99 after the 200. It's so like 201, for example, we take 200 cc and put a one at the end. 202, we put the cc for 200 and then two after. And then we keep going, uh, takes us all the way to 299. So here we have 200 and then 99 right here to get 299. And then for 300, we put three C's in the front and then do the same thing again. So for 301 through 399, same thing. Now for 400, we cannot put four 100s together because we cannot break rule number one, but I could take 500 minus 100. So to subtract the values, we need to use rule number three where we put C in front of D. So we subtract 100 from 500. So 400 would be C, D. So 401 would be C, D, followed by a 1. 402 would be C, D, followed by a 2. 403 would be C, D, followed by 3, and etc. So we can do this all the way through 499. That takes us right here. So we have C, D for 400. And then 99 is X, C, I, X. And then that takes us to 500, which is the letter D. All right, so then we have the letter D for 500. So then 501 through 599, just put the D in the front, and then we would have all of these. All right, so notice for all of these, the D is in the front. And then we have I for 501. Here we have 502, 500, and then three. And D is 500, and then four all the way to 599. So D for 500, X, C, I, X for 99. And then 600 would be 500 plus 100. So if we use rule number two, we we'd put the D in the front and then C at the end. So D, C means we're taking 500 plus 100. And then we can use this D, C for 600 to take us all the way through 699. So D, C would be in the front and then whatever is after comes after DC. So that would take us all the way through 699. So we see right here, 699, we have 500 plus C is 600, and then X, C, I, X would be 99. So this is 699. And then 700 would be 500 plus two 100s. So we have DCC for 700. 701 would be DCC, plus one, 702 would be DCC plus two. You can keep going all the way to 799. All right, so 799 would be DCC, that's 700, and then 99 
would be right there. And then for 800 would be a combination of 500 and three one hundredths. So we do D for 500 and then three C's for 300. So 500 plus 300 would be 800. So then we use DCCC in front and that would take us all the way through 899. So for 801, for example, we have DCCC for 800 and then I for 1. So 801. And then DCCCII would be 802 because this is 800 plus the 2. Keep going all the way to 899 and that would take me right here where we have 500 plus 3 C's for 800 and then 99 XCIX. So that takes us to 899 and then 900 we cannot use 500 plus 4 one hundredths because we cannot use a symbol more than three times in a row so we cannot use four one hundredths so what I need to do is I need to take the 1000 and then subtract 100 to get 900 so to do that I put the C in the front and then M after because using rule number two C is less than M so I subtract if C is in the front so 900 would be C M because we take 100 subtract that from 1000 and then this would be the symbol for 900 so we can use this for anything from 901 through 999 and that's what we see right here so take you all the way to 999 here CM is 900 XCIX is 99 so this would be 999 all right and then M would be a thousand so now we are in four digits so then from here, 1,000 through 1,999, you would just put the letter M in the front of whatever for 1,000, and then put any of these symbols uh, that we just discussed up through 999 to get up to 1,999. All right, so for example, MI would be 1,000 plus 1, uh, so that's 1,001. MII is 1000 plus 2, so 1002. And we keep going until we reach uh, right here. Um, 1900 would be MCM, right? Because 1000 and then CM would be 900. We subtract 100 from 1000, so that's 900. 1000 plus 900 is 1900. All right, and then 2000 would be 2Ms, so we do MM for 2000. And then 3Ms would be 3,000. And then whatever comes after, you would put after. So like 3,000, so if we did 3,456, for example, 3,000 is 3Ms. 400 would be C and then D, right? Because we subtract 100 from 500 to get 400. 50 would be L. And then 6 would be V plus I. So that would be 3,456. So we can put it all together to take us all the way through 3,999. All right, so we've learned how to convert from, uh, from standard form into Roman numerals. And by default, you can convert from Roman numerals back into standard form. That concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.